The new ocean has been opened. With its unrivaled fleet of nuclear-powered icebreakers, Russia has successfully turned the northern sea route from a frozen dream into a viable year-round artery for global trade. They have created the highway, but a highway, no matter how well paved, is useless if it is not secure. As the Arctic ice retreats and maritime traffic increases, a new and profound problem has emerged. How do you police a frontier the size of a continent? This new ocean is a realm of immense distances, brutal weather, and a near total lack of infrastructure. It is a security vacuum. Conventional blue water warship, a destroyer, or a frigate is utterly helpless here. Its thin hull would be sliced open by the ice, its sensors blinded by the weather, its very existence a gamble against the elements. Conversely, a traditional icebreaker, for all its power and resilience, is not a warship. It is a civilian vessel, unarmed and vulnerable. It can open a path, but it cannot defend it. This creates a critical capability gap. Who protects the tankers? Who responds to a distress call? Who stops a terrorist threat or a pirate attack in a place where a normal Navy cannot go? This is the nightmare scenario for any nation with a vast Arctic coastline. It is the birth of a new gray zone, a lawless frontier where conventional rules do not apply. How do you enforce your sovereignty and your environmental laws over millions of square miles of ocean that can crush a normal patrol vessel? How do you protect the critical multi-billion dollar infrastructure? The gas terminals, the port facilities, the scientific stations that are the lifeblood of the new Arctic economy. Sending a lumbering unarmed icebreaker to confront a hostile vessel is a fool's errand. Sending a fragile billion dollar destroyer into the ice is suicidal. The forces that exist are the wrong tools for the job. This vulnerability means that a nation's most valuable new frontier is also its most undefended. It is a highway without a highway patrol, a border without a border guard. A new kind of vessel was needed, a ship that didn't just ignore the old rules but combined them. It needed the hull and the strength of an icebreaker, the capabilities of an ocean-going tug, and the teeth of a modern corvette. It needed a predator, purpose-built for the Arctic hunt. The solution was a revolutionary hybrid, a class of ship that exists in a category all its own. It was Project 235 FIFO, the Ivan Papanen class Arctic patrol ship. This was not an icebreaker with guns bolted on. It was a warship conceived from the keel up to master the frozen battle space. Named for a legendary Soviet polar explorer, the Ivan Papanin and its sister ships were designed to be the ultimate jack of all trades for the high north. The design philosophy was a fusion of capabilities. First, it is an icebreaker. Built to ice class ARC-7 standards, one of the highest ice strengthening classifications, it is capable of independently smashing through ice up to 1.7 meters thick. This allows it to operate year-round along the entirety of the northern sea route without an escort. Second, it is a warship. Unlike a civilian icebreaker, the Project 2355 Fifsu is armed. It carries a modern AK-176MA 76.2-meter naval gun, the same type of weapon found on Russia's newest corvettes. But its true lethality is modular and hidden. The design incorporates the revolutionary ability to carry and launch caliber cruise missiles from a containerized launch system, the Club K. This means this innocent-looking patrol ship can be upgunned in a matter of hours, transforming from a patrol vessel into a potent land attack or anti-ship platform with a range of hundreds of miles. Third, it is a multi-purpose platform. It is equipped with a helicopter deck and hangar allowing it to serve as a mobile base for reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare helicopters. It carries two high-speed Raptor-class assault boats for boarding and interdiction missions. And it is a powerful tug, capable of assisting in towing vessels in distress. The Even Papanin was not just a ship. It was a complete Arctic security solution forged into a single 7,000-ton hull. The proof of this concept is now floating reality. The lead ship, Ivan Papanin was launched in 2019 and is currently undergoing advanced trials before its expected commissioning into the Northern Fleet. The second ship of the class, the Nikolai Zuboff, is being built for the Pacific Fleet, demonstrating the national commitment to deploying strength. these unique assets across Russia's entire Arctic frontier. Their stated missions are the definitive proof of their revolutionary design. 
They are tasked with being the permanent sheriffs of the Northern Sea Route. They will escort and protect commercial shipping. They will perform ice reconnaissance. They will patrol the vast maritime border, ready to counter smugglers, poachers, and terrorists. They will be the first responders to maritime accidents, using their powerful towing and rescue capabilities. And if necessary, they will bring the firepower of a modern missile corvette to bear in a region where no other warship can operate. These ships are the missing link. They bridge the gap between the raw power of the nuclear icebreaker fleet and the conventional combat power of the Blue Water Navy. They can operate independently for months, their diesel electric power plant giving them a range of 10,000 nautical miles. They are the versatile, persistent presence that the new Arctic demands. The construction and deployment of this new class is a clear signal that Russia is not just planning to profit from the Arctic. It is building the specific tools needed to control and defend it. The legacy of Project 23550 is the birth of the combat icebreaker. It is a new category of warship that perfectly reflects the challenges of 21st century gray zone conflict. It is a ship that can be a benign presence one moment towing a stranded vessel or providing scientific support, and a lethal combatant the next. This ambiguity is its greatest strength. It provides a scalable, flexible, and ever-present tool of national power in a strategically vital region. These ships will write the rulebook for Arctic warfare and maritime law enforcement. They are the pioneers of a new naval doctrine. As other nations with Arctic interests, the United States, Canada, the Scandinavian countries grapple with the immense challenge of policing their own northern frontiers. They will be looking at the Ivan Papanen as the new benchmark. It is a ship that represents a fundamental shift in naval thinking, a move away from specialized platforms and towards resilient, multi-role vessels designed for the world's harshest environments. The Ivan Papanen class is more than just a patrol ship. It is the answer to a question that Keeping has vexed naval planners for decades. Affirmative. How Looking to project good. power into a frozen ocean. It is a testament to a new era of naval design, where versatility, resilience, and modularity are the keys to victory. They are the new predators of the North, the constant, watchful guardians of the ice. Share this video to explore the fascinating story of Project 23550. The revolution.